Hello guys, today I will answer an email, this one that you can see on the screen with a question about Eloquent. And I'm still surprised that Eloquent is almost number one topic of questions that I get over social media and my email, but okay, if you have questions, let's answer them. So the situation, there are posts and there are post likes with has many, and what is needed here is to show the posts by date, order by date descending. Let's assume it's post created at, it could be like published at or something, but it doesn't really say in this email. Anyway, so date, but not the timestamp, it's date. So that's one challenge. And then for each date, order the post by the amount of likes, which is has many relationship. So I've tried to recreate that scenario in my local demo project. So here's the situation in the database, 20 fake posts with random created ad. And here's what we will group and order by. And then there are post likes with just post ID. It doesn't really matter what's the username or whatever. So post has many likes. And the result of that on the screen would be something. And the result of that on the screen would be something like this. The first result. We will transform it as well. But order by date descending, then the amount of likes. In this case, it's the same amount. But then 22nd of November, 4 and 1 likes. Then these 854, so ordered exactly as the email. So how to achieve that? In the controller, for now I just have a placeholder and we will fill the actual code now. And here's the task described. We need to select title and likes count, order by created at descending date and grouped by that. So first, likes count. How do we define likes count? If we go to post model, likes has many, and for that Eloquent has with count. With count of likes, the relationship name, get. And then we can order by that with count. Let's do order by likes underscore count descending. So that would order by likes, not the dates yet, but that is a step one. Next, we need to order by date descending by created at and date. For that, we would do before the likes count, we do another order by, but not the created at, but date created at descending and here we'll have order by raw we can do raw query on ordering as well next what we need to select for that query select and here we'll also use raw select raw we need id title date created at and it seems like that's it and also since we see date created at here repeating we can define that as a variable as created date. Let's put with count on a new line. So created date. And then we can use order by without this and refer to created date as an eloquent property almost. So this sounds like what we need. And then in the blade, we do for each of the posts, show title, show created date and show likes count. Let's refresh the page. We refresh. And this is the result. And I've installed Laravel debug bar to see what actual eloquent query is running under the hood. So this is almost like a raw query. So we select exactly what we specified in the controller that with count is a sub query. So select count from post likes and we can use that likes count later in the ordering order by descending. And there's one more thing I would like to improve here in this view. This is one list. So it's not really clear what is the difference of the dates. So wouldn't it be better to have date and then post of that date, then another date, and then posts of that date with likes. So we can group by created date, and we can group it in a collection. So there's group by before the get, which is query builder, but there's also group by after the get. So group by created date gives us the result. Let's DD, or actually, did you know that there's DD on the collection as well? DD, die and dump, and if we refresh the page, we have that array and here's the key of that array, which is create a date. And for every key, we have a collection and that collection is, for example, two items of posts. So now in the blade, if we remove the DD in the blade, we can add another for each. So for each dates, for example, as date posts, then we add, for example, date here, the key, then the list, and then we end for each auto format with PHP storm. And then we need to pass the dates. So it's not the posts anymore. It's the dates. So we rename the variable as well. And if we refresh now, we have as you can see, date and then post. 
and then it doesn't really matter what is here so we can remove this variable which will make it look even better so like this i forgot this one so six likes something like this this is the final result i hope it helps that person who sent that email and also if you want to find out about eloquent more more tricks and tips like this one i have quite a lot of lessons about eloquent and separate courses about eloquent on my teachable platform so there's better eloquent performance course there's a course about structuring databases and also i touch eloquent in almost any course where i get some queries from the database so the best way to practice Eloquent is to subscribe to yearly membership of my courses, which will get you 23 current courses and everything I will release for a year ahead. I have a lot of plans for new courses with new ideas, some of them from you guys. So see you guys inside the courses or on free videos on YouTube.